This is Duke with Catch Outdoors, and we're here today doing another Catch and Cook segment. We're going to be learning how to make pickled pike. Step one to this process, we've already filleted the fish and brined. Now you'll see I've got a salt water mixture in there. A brine's very simple. We can put a link in the, in the video to, a, to, to show you how to make a simple brine, but this is a basic salt water brine. The reason the plate's on top of it is just to keep the fish submerged. You want it to take on as much of that brine as possible. You want to make sure that you completely wash the brine off the fish. So we're going to remove the plate. We're going to dump the fish chunks in our colander here. And you're going to actually want to rinse this with cold water for a few minutes to get the brining fluids off the fish. I already have the filleted pike that's been brined. Now the reason we did this is because we caught these fish last Tuesday. In order to do a safe pickling recipe, we need to freeze this fish for 48 hours to make sure it's free of tapeworms or any other parasites that are common in freshwater fish. At this point, it basically becomes an assembly process. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my pike pieces, I'm going to take my red onion, jalapenos, garlic, and lemon rind, and I'm going to kind of layer them into these jars, and then at the end I'm going to top it all off with the pickling juice. Now, don't worry, we're gonna have all the correct proportions and recommendations uh, for the recipe in the comments section. So while you're paying attention to this, see that little catch logo down there, click on it and subscribe to the channel. We're gonna start with putting in a small layer of onions, a couple jalapenos, a lemon rind, and then we're gonna stack some pike on top of it. At this point, we have all of our ingredients in the jars and it doesn't get much easier than this, guys. We're just gonna go ahead and pour the pickling juice in, refrigerate, and we're done. Over here, we have our pickling fluid, which I made earlier this morning. What you have here basically is a vinegar mixture with some sugar uh, and you're gonna put your spices in it. It consists of some bay leaves, some peppercorns, uh, mustard seed, and a little bit of clove. Now, when you pour this all in, I like to pull the cloves out before I put it in the, before I put the pickling fluid in. I'll give this one last whisk to make sure it's mixed up. And all I'm gonna do is top these jars off. I'm trying to get as much of the spices and the peppercorn that are in the bottom in the jar. I'm gonna throw a lid on it. And we're gonna find a nice, cool place in the refrigerator to put this for seven to 10 days, or whatever your preference is. Now, this fish is safe to eat at this point, but you obviously wanna give it at least a few days to, to soak up the, the flavors that you're pickling in it. I like about a week. After about a week, it's good, and in our house, that jar won't make it past 10 days. 